And now on to uh, two uh, former Hylia police officers are under house arrest. They're accused of kidnapping and beating a homeless man. And we're now seeing new evidence in this high profile case. Andrew Perez live in Kendall with a developing with a breaking development actually in this case. Andrew. At least one of the former officers that you just talked about, they were actually dropped off at home to start house arrest. I want to go ahead and send you to the video first. We just got this a very short time ago. This is at the home of Lorenzo Orfila, and despite being in court all week, which we've covered, some relatives tried to block the view. He snuck in through a side gate very quickly, trying to avoid the cameras. But this is his new life as he and his co-defendants now prepare for trial at home. The alleged victim is on camera saying he was beaten and thrown on the street, quote, like a dog. A big gash on his head. His clothes are ripped. His face is swollen. Jose Ortega Gutierrez found with pretty bad injuries, describing a beating moments earlier. He says at the hands of police. He's saying a police officer did this to him and then dropped him off here. An off-duty officer finding Ortega Gutierrez like this and calling authorities to investigate. That case would lead to four arrests, including two now former Hialeah police officers, Rafael Otaño and Lorenzo Orfila. The two responded to a disturbance at a bakery in Hialeah, taking him into custody. But GPS data shows their squad car drove to an isolated area where Ortega Gutierrez claims they beat him while handcuffed and left him there with nothing. <laughs> They're asking you to credit a drunken statement of a career criminal. In court, defense attorneys focused on Ortega Gutierrez's credibility, criminal history, and mixed statements. Prosecutors say he's homeless and well known to police, but added this case became even bigger when Ali Saleh allegedly bribed the victim to change his story and a fourth man notarized the paperwork. All men granted bond and Orfila's mother telling us he would not be so cruel. These men must stay on house arrest. They can't have any contact with anybody connected to this case and now their attorneys are preparing for the actual trial. That's the latest here in Kendall. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew, thank you. And please.